Greetings, my frosty friends. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Arctic, Episode 3, Dead Battery. Two cars in the intersection and the one at the gas station. I'll try, I'll, I'll push my luck. I'm not drowsy yet and I have tons of vitamins that I've been picking up, so I'll just keep trying for gasoline. Because if I can get a little bit more gasoline tonight, it saves me an entire day of searching tomorrow because it takes so long to, like, walk back and back again. Wow. Uh, okay. Nice swearing on the annotated map. Cheers. How's my, t uh, how's my temp holding up in the snow? Pretty good. I mean, it's not as cold as it has been. It's, uh, considerably warmer. Like, 20 degrees warmer. Or, 15 degrees warmer. Has been worse. But I'm wearing lots of layers, and I'm wearing a bunker jacket, which is extraordinarily warm. Because I killed some firemen for it. I don't know if I'm going to need the hunting knife. I already have one. Okay, please be worth it. No gas, no gas. Neither of my ga gas. Now that I have a gas t a can, I can... If siphon pops up, I'll know. Well, you, yeah, this is like a intersection collision. These cars never have anything good. Is there a finite amount of gas at uh, fuel pumps? Yes. But the quantity is very, very high. So it's finite, but like, there's tons and tons of gas. Um, the reason I'm not taking the fuel pump is there's no... They're not... They're offline. They're, um... They're unpowered right now. So I would need a generator to be able to use the gas station's uh, gas pumps. And I don't have a generator. Or uh, knowledge about how to use generators. Future goals. So many annotated maps. I don't know. I didn't change the rated annotated maps, so it's pretty crazy to me that I'm getting so many. And there we go. I think that's the last Louisville map. So at this point, I don't need... Um, yep, that was the last Louisville map. So I don't need any more Louisville maps. So the only ones I'm going to be looting is the annotated ones. Func functionally speaking... The amount of gasoline that are in the, um, that are in the gas stations for single player, it's functionally infinite. I mean, it's not literally infinite, but there's just so much gasoline in them that you're just not reasonably going to run out. Playing solo. It's, it's the multiplayer servers where you have multiple people drawing from a gas, uh, from the gas pumps. That's, that's when you're likely to, uh, to go bingo. Or I will, um, I'll change my answer a little bit. I have never, I've never run out of gasoline at a gas station. Perhaps it's because I've always rolled high numbers. But I think, I think it's, um, it's rare that you run out. But I'm not going to say it's impossible because I don't know the code yet. Well, these cars had very little for me. It might be worth going in there, and maybe even sleeping in there, if there's a, a somewhere comfortable to be. Um, because... It could have magazines related to using uh, generators or something else.
And there's obviously going to be a lot of food in the Gigamite. Non-perishable. Non-perishables. I hope they fix that bug. The bug where it, you remove the glass, but it's visibly still there. So it looks like you're going to cut yourself when you hop through. Gotta say, I'm not impressed with what's on the shelves, but uh, that's what you get for maximizing loot scarcity. I'm not going to be looting everything here. I just simply don't have the carry weight. So I'm just looking for, like... Ooh. Crans. So I believe with the mod I have, Crans allows me to write in colors. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Ball pin hammer to pick. I have no idea what that's doing here in the uh, in the Gigamart. Bag of rice. Some lamps. A shovel. That's a good weapon. Microwave and sh some sugar. I'll be passing a lot of, up a lot of stuff that like normally I would loot. I'm just looking to get my weight up. So I don't have to worry about eating so much soon. Oh, we found a Freddy. Some weird stuff in here. Was actually expecting... I don't know what I was expecting. Get rid of the ball peen. Doesn't operate as a normal hammer anyway. So there's more stuff in here to, to grab. Let's grab the canned goods. No can opener though, yeah, Guero. I was looking, I was hoping. Could be some back here. In these shelves. Fire extinguisher? This is where it's at. Yeah, there's there's some good food here. You can tell that I'm on like really really low um, loot quantity because normally these shelves would be packed and they're they're pretty. Uh, well, they're not they're not definitely not packed. Hey, cheap dog, thank you for the bits. All right, I think this is outside. Nope, I'd be wrong. Another crowbar. Oh man, uh, alright. Gonna have a spine injury from all these crowbars, but I'd be a fool to pass them up. Everything in the baked goods section is gonna be gross. There is one dessert, I forget what it is, that like never rots. But most of the desserts rot. It's like cookies, I don't think rot unless they changed it. A few other stuff like that just is always good. So in a pinch, I can sleep on one of these chairs up here. 
So I don't have to, uh... I don't have to get back somewhere safe. Just start tomorrow up here. Too bad the uh, cold temperature doesn't treat the world like a freezer. Uh, actually, it does. I've changed the server settings, or the game's settings, so that um, food kept out of refrigerators does not spoil very quickly. Uh, for that exact reason. So you don't really need running power. I mean, it would be helpful. But it's not one of those, like, without it, you'll die type scenarios. All right, let's have ourselves a little nap, you knew. And the most comfortable place to nap imaginable. A tiny little bathroom. I figure it's probably the probably the safest place in the uh, the whole Gigamart. So there's a little building to the south west of this here, which is like a um, bank, maybe, I think. I have no interest in a bank, but I will, uh, I'll start walking back to where the car was, and then to reassess, um, you know, if I can leave yet or not. Hey, bud. I am so encumbered. Oh, I didn't see that little car coming in. Did I? I didn't check that, right? Yeah. So the problem now is I'm so encumbered that I'm getting hurt and my carry weight is terrible. So I gotta be careful. This vehicle has no gas in it. Oh, they see me. Just uh, throwing stuff on the ground to lower my weight so I can fight. Hey, moles. Thank you for the reset. Did I take this? Yeah, I took the cigarettes. When in doubt, just toss everything on the ground. <laughs> this car here didn't have gas. Uh, I'll check its battery though. And its glove box. Battery sucks. I have the key to it though. It's too bad that when you're, like, really over, over-encumbered, your stomps don't do more damage. I mean, I guess they wouldn't, because you're, like, lifting your leg. It's not like your leg gets weighted. Unless you're doing, like, a jump, which is not the animation the player does. So I'll be back in my uh, normal neighborhood once I go around this fence to the east.
Unfortunately, Victor here isn't getting lucky like uh, Louis did. With a full car, ready to go. Mint condition, keys and all. Gigamart waistcoat. Oh, it's so cold out. I'm sure um, hustling back to where the car's parked is going to encumber me and uh, exhaust me. I just want to get back there, offload this stuff, and then maybe search for more gas? Ate your cookie. Uh, there will be farming, just with a set of rules about it. So I'll, I'll cover that once we get there. I talked about it earlier, though. Which is, essentially, I'll be farming indoors with, like, skylights as a requirement. So there's a propane um, barbecue there. The propane, the external propane barbecue stuff is static, so you can... They're, like, guaranteed spawns, which makes it easy. <laughs> you love cookies? Your name is I Love My Cookies. Living up to your name, I guess. I can appreciate that. Victor's getting a little, uh, exerted. I hope to ditch my tails, but I'm really not moving very fast because I'm so encumbered. Probably was not that wise to get as encumbered as I currently am. You could do it, buddy. Oh, why is there... Zombie is like right where I'm headed. Ah, Alright, this fight's gonna suck. Oh, and they're being joined. I'm almost not encumbered, though, but I am exhausted from sprinting over here. I'll just eat a little and try to get full so I'm satiated, and that way my encumbrance isn't uh, a factor now. A good reminder not to get too greedy, even though there's a lot of stuff. Stuff can easily get you killed. Yeah, don't let Luke Goblining kill you, exactly. You can see the stuff I dropped. There's only four of them. I'm just having myself a little rest. What's crazy is, despite all of the edible stuff that I, I grabbed, um, 
very little of it I can actually eat without a can opener, which means I don't really have any more food than when I left. <laughs> I can eat the sardines. Oh, goody. Just what I've always wanted. Do zombies buy death insurance? Uh, no, but they should. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm transferring. I'm just saying, fill it up. I'll even transfer it to the passenger seat, except for the battery. So there's only one way to get in the car now, which is the driver's seat. The good news is I'm not as encumbered as I was. Alright, let's uh, do the battery maintenance. Please install it first try. Please, please, please. Yes, okay, we got it. So, now we have a car that can move. Um, so then the question is, uh, what to do next? So let, let's assess the quality of this car. Right after I kill this uh, Lucky Lou. So we have got an engine which is beat up, but it will run. Uh, three units of gasoline, a working battery. This thing's beat to hell, but yeah, it, sh it should get me from roughly from point A to point B, uh, I think. So a question for you guys is if I can pull you. All right, now the pull software looks down. But it will be uh, whether or not I should leave now or search for more, more gasoline. So I've already searched. I suppose I'll put some X's in this lot to signify that it's been searched. So I've already searched those lots. Um, I'm not going to mark down the Giga Mart because the Giga Mart still has some food. So I will put uh, a food icon there in blue. Blue I will treat as like resources that I've not yet recovered. Uh, but yeah, pulling looks down. So I'm going to pull in game. What should I do? Search for more gas or head to central Louisville. It'll be up to you. Three minutes to vote. And while you're voting that, I'm just going to try to search the houses across the street for can openers, because that's... Or, or food that is edible without a can opener. So that's uh, going to be immediate, an immediate problem. Oh, hello. There's... You had a house party, didn't you?
Crabs, I, I don't know. I don't understand your question. Yeah, the poll is up. It's just on Twitch. The one that has a user interface is uh, broken right now, so I can't use it. Well, clearly whoever took the time to metal barricade up this house, it didn't work. Your house is full of zombies. How scary would it be if, like, you use all your propane to metal up uh, and insulate your base, your home, only to realize that someone in your home um, turned, and now you're, like, bolted in with a zombie? I think that's what happened here. Where'd my third water bottle go? I don't... I don't know. My third bourbon bottle. Just missing. Eh, whatever. I have two, it's fine. This place has a bunch more, uh, bunch more guitars. The house next door is burned down, so maybe there will be some fireman gear that is not ruined, because the sleeve of the uh, the jacket I'm wearing right now has holes in it. Okay, so head to central Louisville, and I'm going to do that tomorrow. So the current priority right now is search the neighborhood, and then tomorrow I'll update it to head to central Louisville. I don't think I'm going to find much here. I don't even see firemen. Did I drop it in the car? I might have. I thought I um, favorited it so I wouldn't drop it. But that seems the most likely scenario. It's just in the car somewhere. I feel like I'm a census worker, going door to door, <laughs> taking a census of uh, who lives where, and then making the number zero. How did my last dude die? Uh, my last dude did not die. The last time I died was weeks ago. And it was... Uh, a zombie lunged out of a window and staggered me, and then another one bit me. Sort of bad timing. But my last one was retired alive. And the season finale aired on YouTube yesterday, so if you want to watch it. 66 episodes up on the YT. This was a party house. Oh, partying with guns. Not a good combo. That is a nice red pen that I have. And yes, I collect high quality writing. So now my pencil, pens, and crayons are all peak form. <laughs> I 
Uh, you just finished uh, Hedge Knights. You crave more? Well, thanks. I hope to keep you entertained. Well, I'm already drowsy at, uh... I got really crummy sleep, didn't I? Ooh, more leather gloves. Getting drowsy at 2 p.m. Ha! Huh! Even more leather gloves. And I think this gun case has shotgun shells in it. It's the only th the only ammo I'm currently collecting. Um, unless you have some sort of, like, bonus to aiming, the... Uh, the shotgun is pretty much the only viable weapon early on. Um, at, at least in my opinion. Is Survival Instinct one of those? No. It's not one of those things I want. It's almost excited. The reason for that is the uh, the handguns just are underwhelming in terms of damage. And then the rifles are just require such a high aiming skill that you're going to suck with them until your aiming hits like five or six, which is very difficult to hit. Um, so I don't even bother grabbing the ammo for those things. I know I sent set the uh, the loot to insanely rare, but boy am I feeling it. Each one of these houses has like three items I take. In terms of books that I've read, it's actually pretty good. Let's look at the recipes. That's what, like a little over a third, maybe? Obviously, the big one that I've not had, or three that I would really want, is how to use generators, farming, and herbalist. Uh, I do have it set up that there's just not a lot to forge, so herbalist wouldn't be super helpful, but it, useful in a pinch, especially if I get an injury that requires medicine of some sort. I don't think that's going to keep him out very long. Close. Yep. They're in. <laughs> Hi! Don't get up. If that was in a movie, uh, I think it would have been very comical. I can I can see Simon Pegg uh, in a in a, in a zombie movie going to the kitchen sink to wash his hands, sees like five zombies that are trying to smash the window, and he just pulls the blind as if that would do anything. <laughs> This neighborhood sucks. They all probably suck. So 
So in terms of central Louisville, now that I have the whole map revealed, um, what I could do is pull... Uh, I don't have an eraser yet. So I just realized all the marks that I've put down, I have no way of removing. But what I could do is I could pull about specifically which sort of like potential greenhouse structure uh, I'll use as a as a base location. down. Six-month-old burger. Mmm. Yum. I've got the four... Um... Bowls that I would need to split up food... Four ways. And I think it is uh, sleep time now. So I'll go to sleep uh, closer to where the car is, or exactly where the car is. I think that's going to be most convenient. I gotta say, I was pretty productive. I cleared a lot of houses. Pretty short period of time. They're smaller houses, though. Hey, Airdog. Thank you for the resub. Oh. There's a bunch of uh, zombies in my backyard. Definitely not going to sleep in this house. <laughs> There's uh, a entourage welcoming committee in the backyard. Uh, this is wind chill, yeah. It's about it's a colder than the what the watch temperature is reading. The, the wind sucks. And that, of course, can be countered by just going inside because there's no wind indoors. There's just yet one more thing to make... Um, The cold temperature even more brutal. Just push. There we go. I'm going to put up a prediction here in a second of uh, how far you think I'm going to get tomorrow. Like, in terms of um, how close will I get to Central. There's more than just that, so we have to decide on location. The, the central area would be sort of this block, and I want to be in the north part of that block because there's not a lot, there's basically no loot in the park. 
Um, so going up from the park, uh, just north of the park, that sort of pink is, that says medical. No, where is the hospital on the map? Because the elementary school, well, here, let me, I'll, I'll, what I'll try to do is, and this will take me just a second, is I'll try to mark down all of the potential base locations that are sort of in the central uh, Louisville area. So talking about the train station, technically the train station has some skylights, but it's not mm, all, really all that functional skylights. Uh, LSU's campus doesn't have anything. North of the train station has a few tiny buildings with skylights, but not one that would be good for base location, um, like the, the chicken place. Like the golf club, which is this yellow building, doesn't have any skylights. So this is the hospital center of the screen. Oh boy, where where would be my skylights? So there is a skylight uh, in, so I'll mark them in red because I don't have an eraser. This is going to be a little confusing. So there's, here's number one marked in red. So that, that is a building with a skylight, two of them, in fact. And I misclicked and put two. So, okay, that's number two. This is number six. I'm just going to paint over in red just to make it easier for you to keep track of what I'm talking about. So that building that I just painted also has a skylight. Or glass facing up. Um, then there is a, a sort of a as part of the art gallery, which is um, oh, where is the art gallery? So the art gallery is here. So there's a building with a skylight here. This can be three, and that might be it for like central location. Just making sure I didn't skip any. But I think those are the obvious contenders. I don't know exactly what these buildings are. And even I would say the art gallery is a little bit north. But no, whatever, I'll include it. I think polling for the overlay is still down. So I'm going to have to do this poll in, um, in Twitch. Where should I drive to? Um, so two... What are these buildings? I'm, I'll try to describe the buildings in the poll as well, so you have some sort of understanding of what they are. I just need to find them again. So building number two is northeast of the hospital, and it looks like uh, an elementary school with a pool. So the skylight is actually above a pool. But that's not a problem. So number two choice is school. The number three choice is art gallery. And then the number six choice uh, is, what is that? I think it's an It is an office building or rec center. I'm, I'm not really sure. Give me just a sec. It's office space, maybe. Yeah. All right. I think it's. It's like a high rise. So there's the poll up on Twitch. And. The new priority is move to central Louisville or Louisville. And no, this is not Raven Creek. My mod list is in the details, if you're wondering.
Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Arctic, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 6th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to know more information about the details of this series, like traits, mods, or settings, that can be found in the description of the video. If you'd like to join my live streams, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. And if you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. For well, my fellow zombie survivors, 